Hello everyone, Nicole Herrick here with you again and today I'm going to show you how to set up store pages in your website from scratch and stop getting confused, especially by Wix's weird terminology by using the word collection in the wrong place. Um, so I'm just grabbed one of their um, template starting websites that you can sort of grab and then play with and adjust to be your own. So we're going to use this as our sample website today. Now I want to go into the menus and pages. We're going to be working here a lot today. Yours might actually look a little bit different if you have developer mode turned on. So I want to show you what that looks like just so that you're knowing um, why yours might be looking different. So we're not going to be using any of this today. We're just going to be using this menu system. So you can actually turn off this whenever you need to, just so it's a bit cleaner. Um, and you can just work with this one. There is also another pages menu, which is up here, which looks different until you click manage pages. I don't know why this is still there. Wix, just get rid of it. Nobody uses it anymore. Just use this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, so we're going to go to this starting shop page that Wix has created in a lot of their templates. So if I click on it and I'll close this site menu, you'll see it's called shop collection. And within this page, it has all of the products on the website. So to me, if I see something called shop collection or shop buy collection or shop collections, I expect to click on that and see categories that I can then choose from. I don't expect to see all of the products. So again, I think this is where people are getting really confused because they're using the word collection, but really this is just a shop all page. So what we're actually going to do is we are going to hide this page altogether and just start with our own. We can't actually delete this page because then we will delete the shop app from our Wix editor. But so we're going to hide it and just start with our own and use our own terminology so that we don't get too confused. All right, so I'm going to go back to the menu and the first thing I'm going to do is hide this. I'm going to click on the three little dots next to it and I'm going to click hide. Not only am I going to do that, I'm also going to hide it from, um, I'm also going to hide it from Google. So I go to SEO and then down show this page in search results. No, no, I'm just hiding this page altogether. I'm not deleting it, just hiding it. All right. Now, what I want to do is add a new page set of pages basically. So I want to add a folder, not add a page, but add a folder. Okay, so I'm going to call this one shop. Okay, and you can see that comes up in my main menu now. All right, so now let's go back to the pages. Um, and I want to add a new page underneath this one with our first category. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up our first category page. And then for any new page that we want to create, we're going to just duplicate it. And that will be really nice and easy. So now we're going to add an actual page. Okay, and you can see it comes up and I'm going to call this one body suits. Okay, done. And I want to put this one as a sub page under my shop folder. So I'm going to click and drag down underneath my shop folder. So this is a sub page when it's down to the right like this. I can make that a non sub page by clicking and dragging out to the right and I'll just show you again the sub page click and drag to the right and there we go now we have a sub page and I'll just show in the in the preview if I hover over shop it comes up with body suits and you can see that my shop page isn't actually clickable and I've done that for a reason because I don't want people to be able to click on this I want them to choose a category okay let's go back to the editor Okay, and so here we are in our blank bodysuits page that we have created. Now I want to add a title and a store app. So let's do our title first. We'll just go add text and I'm going to use heading one. I don't care what it looks like at the moment, but you're going to use heading one. Okay, this is because it's a H1 and it's a H1 shows important information to Google. So a H1 shows this text information to Google first above all other text on the page. Okay, so let's go and change this around. So what we want, I'm going to make it centered and a little bit smaller. 
There we go, done. I'm going to save that. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to call this one Body Suits. Okay. Bottle, Bottle Suits. What are they? That could be a cool brand name, Bottle Suits. Okay. Um, so I have that on my page and now I want to add a store gallery. So I'm going to go to my store, add store elements, and then I'm going to click and drag a grid product gallery onto my page and just drop it anywhere. Give it a few seconds. Okay. And now I'm going to center that on my page just below my heading. All right. Now what we're going to do is, um, Basically, we want to get this bit right and like looking how we want it to look before we then go and duplicate this page. If you haven't already clicked on your element and see your blue line around the edge, if it looks like this and you can't see settings anywhere, click on the actual store element and then click settings. All right. So the first thing that comes up is collection. Um, and I want you to understand that when they say collection, they actually mean categories. Wix, if you're listening to this, just rename it to categories so it's a bit more understood. You're using a word collection and there's people out there doing fashion websites that have different collections and it just doesn't make any sense. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> so at the moment, this has automatically been assigned to all products but I want to assign it to my bodysuits collection. Okay, category. All right, so that's my first thing done. Now you can see just the bodysuits show up. Now let's go to layout and we can choose some different options here. Um, a good thing to add is stretch to full width. So if I show that, you can see that now it goes all the way across the page. And this is great if you want a responsive website that um, shrinks and expands as people are on different screen sizes. Um, and you can also choose different um, ways that the images and text are displayed in here. Um, a few things, I like to center the text, so keeping this centered. I like to use the fit in the way that the image is resized because I don't like, I don't want to risk anything being cropped off if I didn't do it properly. I like to use a square ratio, that way if I'm using landscape and portrait images, um, it's, it's going to be the best for both worlds. Um, I like to have three to four columns, you can decide. Um, but with rows, I always want to choose the maximum rows. That's because if you only have four rolls, rows, and then people have to press a load more button. But if I'm a consumer and I'm scrolling through your website and I just get to scroll a little bit and then I have to click more, no, 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 no. I don't want to have to click load more. I just want to keep scrolling and find stuff. Save your time. Make sure that you put as maximum rows as possible. Okay. Um, now let's have a look at the settings. Um, what happens when I hover? I love to choose swap image because I just love it. I think it works um, great for the majority of websites. If you have something like jewelry though, you might want to do a zoom. All right, and let's go to design now. You can just have a scroll through these, see if you want to change stuff to look to match your branding. Now filters, now this is a big one. So without filters, I just want to show you the preview without the filters. Okay. All right, so here we are, fairly clean website, um, but there isn't really sort of a navigation anywhere when they get to this point other than sort of going up to here and choosing a different category. So by turning on filters here, I'm gonna now show you what that does. And I'm gonna show you in preview just because my menu system is hovering over the top and you can't really see it. So you can see here that it shows price, color, and size. And you will actually see later on that there is also gonna be collections. But we're actually gonna rename it to categories so it's a bit easier to understand. Um, so this is actually a side menu system which really helps customers navigate through your different sections of your online store. Um, and it helps them to keep shopping. So I definitely recommend always having this on. There might be some instances where it isn't applicable to your store. Like if you only sell two products, then you probably don't need a filtering system. But I always like to have this if you have sort of, say more than you know 20 or 30 products and you have a few different categories of product. Uh, and what I also like to do is change the name of collection. So I'm just going to go edit and instead of putting collection, I'm going to call it category. And this is just so that my customers 
know that they want to choose the category so body suits t-shirts um, skirts shirts you know that kind of thing so uh, but I'm going to call it category you can also add different things in here so product options like color and that kind of thing and you can create custom filters as well sorting um, I do actually like to add a sorting button you can see this is the sort by button and I like to add this to most e-commerce websites because when I'm shopping I like to sort from lowest to highest in price because I'm a, I'm a bargain shopper and come on don't tell me you aren't as well all right um, quick view mode I like to turn quick view mode off because if I'm gonna go to all the trouble of writing descriptions and everything for this I want you to read them um, and then manage just goes into the manage store all right but so if you're happy with how your layout is looking again let's have a look in preview so you can see the clean version all right so if you're happy with how this is looking now now what we can do is go and um, duplicate this page to create our other store pages okay so let's go to our pages menu and uh, to create a duplicate page I need to go to the three little dots on the right hand side and click duplicate now if you're asking me why didn't I just duplicate the shop collection it's because you cannot duplicate it I don't know why that is but you can't duplicate this page you can actually um, go to store pages and then add another store page but it doesn't it doesn't duplicate so that's why I'm saying Wix this, this is weird and I'm doing my own system all right so let's go duplicate okay and I'm gonna call this one t-shirts okay done now as soon as I click that I, I usually would be thinking oh this is gonna change to t-shirts but I need to do that myself right now so make sure that I'm on the t-shirts page click onto it I'm gonna double click this and change the title so now I know this is definitely the t-shirts page and now I need to assign the right collection or category to this particular page so I need to click on the element click settings and I need to figure out which collection or category I want for this particular page and I'm gonna go t-shirts and you can see that this will change to just the t-shirts okay so there we go I have my t-shirts um, and you can see that this has changed over here as well because the t-shirts come in different colors so that's cool all right and then I can go and create as many more new pages as I would like um, just by duplicating them changing the title and then assigning the collection what I also definitely recommend doing is adding your own shop all page even though this shop collection kind of was a shop all page I just don't think it really works the way that a consumer actually uses it so let's add our own shop all page so I'm just going to duplicate one of our pages I'm going to call it shop all okay and then I'm going to go and change the name to say shop all okay and then I'm going to assign the collection settings collection I'm going to choose all products okay and this has all of the products in there all right so now if I go to preview okay so now I can hover over here and I've got a choice between bodysuits t-shirts or shop all and you can change this order let me show you how to change the order so say for example if I wanted the shop all to be first I click where these little dots are and drag it up and I can change the t-shirts to be the second category and so on okay so there we go guys that's how I go about setting up shop pages and assigning the collections to each of the pages just in a bit more of an understanding way Wix's way is just completely confusing everyone so I wanted to show you guys my method and hopefully it will stop some of you from screaming into your pillows Thanks guys, I hope that was helpful.